how can a company like Sperry grow by exporting to China? In this video, we will explore how businesses in Nova Scotia might benefit from exporting to China. For this exploration, we'll look at what opportunities and challenges might face a company like Sperry, a plant-based meal replacement producer. So why is exporting a good strategy? In general, an appealing business will benefit from exporting its products or services simply because it unlocks a whole new market with new potential customers. These additional markets will give the business access to more people and more opportunities to expand depending on the direction the business wants to go and whether that business model is appealing to the locals. In the case of Sperry, they would benefit from the pre-existing cultural interest in natural health products that already exists in China. In 2020 alone, the value of health products imported increased by 12.8% from the previous year, totaling 3.4 billion US dollars. What are the opportunities and challenges facing Sperry in entering this market? With the market for natural health products growing in China, it is a great opportunity for an established high-quality Canadian brand to try and break into the market. Natural health products are not one of Canada's top exports to China currently, which means there is a lack of Canadian products of this type on the shelves in China. Due to the lack of competition from other Nova Scotian or even Canadian businesses in this market, the main competition will be from existing local and foreign products. With the rise of globalization, the perception of foreign entities is improving, which reduces the barrier to entry for businesses. Some challenges for a company like Sperry in China would relate to the number of existing natural health products as well as the rising cost of shipping overseas. Even though Nova Scotia is home to multiple major shipping ports, the products made in China or imported from neighboring nations likely have a comparative advantage due to lower opportunity costs such as production or shipping fees. What might Sperry do to grow more by exporting to China? Some strategies that Sperry might use to lower risks and increase their chances of success are outsourcing and licensing. In terms of outsourcing, for the side of the company operating in China, it would help cut down on costs related to shipping by either building a factory locally or by contracting an existing factory to manufacture their products. The other option that Sperry might consider is licensing their brand to a local Chinese company which may already produce a similar product. If they can market their brand successfully to the people in China who tend to purchase natural health products, they could offload almost all the risk to the Chinese company while taking a licensing fee. Should the company go that route, it would most certainly lead to lower profits should the product be successful as they would only be receiving the licensing fee and not the full product revenue. How can the government encourage exports? If the Canadian or Nova Scotian governments wanted to encourage more exports to China, they could consider offering rebates for shipping costs to help businesses reduce their overhead when shipping overseas. Specifically, if there was a tax incentive for shipments to China, it would encourage people to look for more opportunities in the ever-growing market. Another option could be to help give businesses direct access to Chinese markets through some sort of national program led by the government which would pair similar businesses in both countries and mediate joint venture opportunities. One of the biggest barriers for small businesses looking to expand is finding those connections within other nations. With this video, we hope we are able to shed some light on the potential of Nova Scotian businesses to export to China, specifically in the case of natural health products like Sperry. 